Hello everyone, welcome back to higher mathematics and happy to see you here. Really interesting question, this is Olympiad question, but really interesting moment with factorials. We have x factorials equal to x cubed minus x. We have cube, we have like difference right here, we have our factorials right here, so which is which is really great. So I like this factorials question. I hope a lot of students like it as well, because factorial this is a really interesting part of mathematics, so let's try to solve it. First of all, uh, it's hard to solve it by inspection and it's not good for math because we need to solve it correctly correctly step by step and with explanation we cannot like write our answer x equal to for example 1 and that's it. We need to solve it, we need to explain it and let's do this step by step. First of all we have this x factorial and it's not good for us because we like don't need it, we don't like used to, we don't prefer to solve these expressions with factorial so we need to cancel this factorial step by step. First of all I want to write this, we, for example if we have 5 factorial, yeah? This is equal to, we all know that this is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. We all know this, this is classic uh, algebra case, 5 factorial. But in the same way we can write this 5 factorial as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Yeah, because 3 times 2 times 1 equal to 3 factorial. Yeah, we can write it in, in this way. So let's try to use this rule right here with this x factorial. So we have like x factorial equal to, equal to, as you can see, we can easily write two previous element and we keep this factorial with the last one, yeah? So let's do this, we can write it as x times x to the power minus, x uh, not to the power like x minus 1 and x minus 2 but factorial, yeah? So I want to, to understand this explanation with this one. So as you can see we have 5, 4 and 3 factorial and right here we have the bigger element than the lower, the lower one and as you can see this we, we keep factorial right here which is really important. So we just rewrite this question as like that. I hope you understand this explanation. So let's try to change this x factorial as right here. So we have x times x minus 1 and times x minus 2, but we keep this factorial sign, yeah? Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's try to, for example, factor from this x cubed minus x, let's try to factor, for example, x, yeah? We have like x, we factor it, and in parentheses we will have like x square, x square minus 1, yeah? So this is our, our, first, our first step. And one really important moment right now, because if you look closely to this expression, we have x on both sides, yeah? We have right here our x, and we have our x right here. So we can easily cancel, because we multiply it on both sides, so we can easily cancel. And that's why I try to express this as a product. So as you can see, we find our element that we can easily factor, x we can easily factor. So let's rewrite our expression, we have x minus 1, we still have x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial equal to and x squared minus 1, which is really great because x squared we can write it as minus 1 square. This is our classic like algebra case, this is our identity formula, so x minus 1 x plus 1. I try to explain step by step, I just want you all to understand this explanation. I can easily write it in, in the previous step as, as a product, but I wanted to do it step by step. Right now, take a look closely, x minus 1 and x minus 1 right here. So let's, let's cancel it, this is the same expression. And after this really interesting trick, we can easily write x minus 2 factorial equal to x plus 1. Yeah, x plus 1, take a look, really interesting and really important moment. So very simple expression with this one, with this one, very simple expression. So right now, a lot of discussion, a lot of tricks right here, but I want to show you this really interesting substitution. So we don't need this x minus 2 factorial, we need x factorial, yeah? So let's write a substitution where x minus 2 equal to, for example, let's go with, with y. Yeah? Then let's try to get a substitution to this x plus 1. So if we add 2 to both sides, we have like x equal to y plus 2. Then x plus 1 equal to y plus 3. Yeah? I hope you understand this explanation. So we just go step by step and we need to find x plus 1. Because we need to chain this right here. Yeah? So we just need to go with, with y. So, and x minus 2 equal to y. So, as a result, we have y factorial, not x minus 2, we just get a substitution, equal to y factorial, equal to, and instead of x plus 1, we can easily write as y plus 3. Okay? Really interesting trick right here, and I hope you understand this, this substitution. What are we going to do next? Let's try to bring our y right here to the left-hand side. 
so we have y factorial minus y equal to equal to 3 and right now let's try to write this y factorial as y times y minus y 1 factorial as right here so the same logic as right here so this y factorial can be written as y times y minus 1 factorial minus y equal to <coughs> equal to 3 yeah and right now if you look closely we have the same elements right here we have y and we have y right here so we can easily factor it yeah we have like y right here and in parentheses we will have like y minus 1 factorial y minus 1 factorial minus 1 equal to equal to 3 okay we just factor in this factor in this y <coughs> and right now let's bring this uh, one from from left to right and of course dividing both sides by y because right here we have this y let's divide both sides by y if we divide both sides by y from here we can easily cancel this and we have like y minus 1 factorial minus 1 so this parenthesis is equal to 3 over over y yeah okay and let's bring this y as I told before we bring this minus 1 to the right hand side so we have like y minus 1 factorial equal to 3 over y and plus 1 which is which is really great so right here this is our final expression of course we cannot simplify this more because we have like we can do more and more substitution but we don't need it as well because right now we have really great expression and i want to explain it why this is really great expression first of all really important moment because y is greater or equal than one yeah because right here we need to have this factorial greater than one so y is greater or equal than one so let's try to get our our supposition right here let's try to suppose about this y so for example we know that y is greater or equal than one so let's suppose let's suppose that our y is equal to 1 for example if our y equal to 1 then 1 minus 1 so 0 factorial equal to 3 over 1 we have 3 over 1 plus 1 let's do this we have 3 over 1 3 plus 1 4 so 0 factorial equal to 4 which is absolutely incorrect so y equal to 1 is not our is not our solution so y equal to 2 we have like 2 minus 1 so 1 factorial we have like 1 factorial equal to 3 half plus 1 so which is which is not correct because as you can see we have like a fraction so 5 half which is absolutely not good for us because 1 factorial this is not equal to 5 half as well okay y equal to 3 let's do this y equal to 3 so what we have 3 minus 1 we have 2 factorial equal to 3 over 3 and plus 1 so we have like 3 over 3 1 and 1 plus 1 2 so 2 factorial equal to 2 which is absolutely great so by this method we can easily say that our y equal to 3 because we have a correct correct expression so did it was our y but we had a substitution what substitution we have that our x equal to y plus 2 it was our substitution before right here we had a substitution so our x equal to y plus 2 and our y equal to 3 so our x equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 and this is our our solution i write right here so x equal to 5 is our solution let's try to check it real quick so we have like x factorial equal to x cube minus x and instead of this x let, let's check this 5 so 5 factorial equal to 5 cube minus 5 real quick right hand side because 5 cube 125 minus 5 this is 120 and 5 factorial this is like a product from 1 to 5 so 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5 yeah so we have 20 times 6 we have 120 so as you can see our 5 is a correct correct route to this question really interesting question i hope you understand this explanation so let's, let's write our answer our answer x equal to 5 this is our our solution to this interesting interesting question and i hope you understand this explanation of course if you have your own solution write your suggestion in the comment it's will be it will be really great to read about your your explanation this is my solution i hope you understand everything in this solution but if you still have any question write a question in the comment section so rewriting this factorial sign canceling right here step by step and this is really interesting and really great expression because we can easily by the right here we have suppose right here so we can easily 
plug in this this constant and try to solve it but really important moment we need to go with y greater or equal than one and as you can see one times two times three of course this is not like a general method i want to tell you because if for example we have y equal y is greater or equal than 20 yeah then you need to go 20 21 22 which is really hard so this is not like a general method but i want to show you this as a solution to this question so thank you for your time and have a great day